Hi friends, welcome to Botany the Language of Plants and today's topic Difference type of meristematic tissue according to their position When a group of cells perform same function their origin are same and their structure also same then this type groups of cells call tissue in plant two type tissues are present one is meristematic tissue and another type permanent tissue meristematic tissue always present in growing point of a plant and meristematic cells are never stop to divide they divide and redivide and increase the cell size in length diameter and etc so meristematic tissue contain small cells a large nucleus thin cell wall and intercellular space absent in case of meristematic tissue so no intercellular space protoplasm and vacuole small vacuole present in its cells now meristematic tissue divide into many types on the basis of origin on the basis of function on the basis of position and on the based on division so in this video i will discuss meristematic tissue on the based on so on the based on position we know meristematic tissue divide into three types apical meristem lateral meristem and intercalary meristem according to position meristematic tissue further divide into three types apical meristem or apical meristematic tissue lateral meristematic tissue and intercalary meristematic tissue we know in case of apical meristematic tissue meristematic cells present on the apical part of the plant body here apical meristem also divide into two type sam that is shoot apical meristem and ram that is root apical meristem so when apical meristem present on shoot tip then it is called shoot apical meristem and when the meristematic tissue or meristematic cells present on the root tip then it is called root apical meristem now apical meristematic zone contain three layer layer 1 that is called epidermal layer second layer that is called sub epidermal layer and the third layer that is innermost layer is called corpus corpus layer divide randomly and produce a bulge like structure whereas layer 1 that is epidermal layer and the sub epidermal layer divide unidirectionally so they produce a thin layer structure now both epidermal layer and sub epidermal layer together call tunica 
so in apical meristem tunical layer and corpus layer present now second type meristematic tissue is lateral meristematic tissue in this case meristematic cells divide into one plane so lateral meristematic cells helped to increase diameter of plant lateral meristematic tissue occur or found on cork cambium cork cambium also called phylogen so lateral meristematic tissue present in cork cambium and help to increase the size of bark the outermost layer called cork cork also called phylum and the innermost layer called phyloderm cork and cork cambium together are called periderm so periderm and phyloderm together produce bark of a tree so here cork cambium divide in one plane and increase the bark size of plant lateral meristematic tissue also present in vascular cambium which help to increase the vascular bundle the size of vascular bundle at the peripheral side of vascular cambium phloem present and the inner side of vascular bundle present xylem sorry at the inner side of vascular cambium present xylem so lateral meristematic tissue divide in one plane and increase the vascular bundle size and also periderm size and finally increase plant in diameter now next type meristematic tissue intercalary meristematic tissue intercalary meristematic tissue always occur between permanent tissue this tissue locate at the base of the node and internode and at the base of leaves so intercalary meristematic tissue help to increase length of a plant and also leaf length like this video then press like button subscribe to my channel press the bell icon to get notification and thank you for watching this video